Hey guys, it's Melanie. This is just a quick video on our contracts and how to get to them. You're going to go to zipformsplus.com. That's the I P F O R M P L U S.com. You're going to enter your username, your password, and sign in. So once you're in here, if you're doing a new transaction, you should be on the new transaction link right here. Click the new button. You want to give it a name, always give it the title of the property and their last name, underscore last name. If this is a listing, you can choose a template. So let's choose the office's listing template. This has all the forms that you need in order to list a property and then click the save feature in the bottom right corner. It'll take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. All the forms that are in there are going to be listed on here. It'll show you that it's saved and then you'll see your property right here. As you start to build more, you'll see more and more of those. So now we're in the document feature. If you want to add a new form, you can go over here and do that. Let's just get that out of the way right now so we can work on the actual form. We're going to go to the listing contract first and like I said, these are all the forms that are in here that are going to be needed for a listing. You're going to go through each one and enter your information and the client's information. So your agent name, your direct phone number, that can be your cell phone or just your direct to the office with an extension. Everybody has one. And then your cell phone, if you want the other side to use your cell phone. I don't advertise my cell, but I do put it on all of my forms. And I definitely put my email address so people know how to get a hold of me. I should probably type it right. Okay, this is the seller's name. You're going to get this off of public records, and you've obviously talked to them, so we're going to put Jane Doe. If you had a second seller or third seller, you could enter them here as well. Seller's mailing address, phone number, email. They don't have to be on the forms, but they can. You're going to answer all the questions. I'm not going to go through this stuff because this is stuff that you'll talk about with Ken during a actual listing contract class. So once you're done with this one, you're going to go up here to the save feature. That's going to save this form with everything that you just typed into. Now some of the stuff like your name and your phone number will come across a lot of the documents. Sometimes it won't. So you do need to go through each and every one of these documents and just make sure that your information is correct. When you want to save this to your computer or to your Dropbox, you're going to click the save as PDF button. You're going to select all of the ones that you want. So if you just want to click one or two, you can do that, or you can select all. On the side here is your save as, save to the computer. You can save them all as one document. If you're going to take these to your iPad, you probably want to do just one document rather than single PDFs. The single PDF is more for an agreement of sale. So let's save it as, I'm sorry, I just did that backwards. The single PDF is what you want if you're going to do I annotate. If you're going to do an agreement of sale, it's probably a separate PDF. So for a listing, let's go with single. Let's save it to our computer. It does take a minute, so I'm doing a live demo. you got to bear with me a little bit. All right. It's going to tell me that I have to keep the file. It's down here in the corner, depending on what kind of computer right down here depending on what kind of computer you are you have it may just save it right to a folder mine asked me to keep the file I'm on a Mac so what I do is I hit save and show in the finder uh -huh. this will pull up where the document is so I copy this document and I go into my Dropbox account which unfortunately for you guys is on a completely different computer so I go into my Dropbox account, open up my folder, open up the folder that I want it to go into, and I'm going to just right click and I'm going to paste the whole contract in there so you can see it's right here. So I can get this to I annotate from there, but that's going to be a completely separate video, or I can print that and I can actually get it to a client for signature if I wanted to do that. So that's it for this video. We'll go back in here and we'll do another one on how to get it to DocuSign.